Welcome to Tech Mining. In this video, you will learn how to include multiple actions per card. This video is separated into two parts. First part illustrates the conditional actions. It will display three actions per card. The title action, the edit button action, the subtitle action. The title action displays without any condition. The edit button action displays only if employee belongs to department number 10. The subtitle action will make the card's subtitle editable only for department number 30 employees. If the user clicks on the card's subtitle link, they will be able to access the employee detail page. Second part illustrates the full card action. It allows us to link the entire card to the specified action. In the current scenario, the full card action is linked to the employee detail page of department number 30 employees. Let's roll up our sleeves and get started. Access the Oracle Apex database under the SQL Workshop menu. This is the table named EBA Demo Card EMP that we are using in the video. To create this table, you can find the create table code provided in the video description. These are the columns of this table followed by their data types. This is the data of the table which will be displayed in cards at runtime interface. Now, create a cards type page. Fill in the necessary requirements and select the table EBA demo card EMP. The grid cards layout dynamically utilizes an automated grid structure, initially assigning a set width to each card. Upon encountering insufficient space for a single row, the layout intelligently wraps cards to subsequent rows, ensuring optimal display. Selecting a specific field from the available list associates the chosen data with the corresponding card section. Remove the job field from the body column because it will be utilized in the subtitle section. After successfully generating the cards page, access the cards region to customize various properties. Rename the auto-generated region to be used as the conditional card actions region. Style B in Apex provides a unique visual alternative to Style A, offering greater customization options including color schemes, fonts, and layouts. Choose Style B option for a distinct look and more design flexibility. As previously said in the video, the job column's data will be displayed in the subtitle section of the card. The image blob column in the icon source allows us to manage and use custom images as icons in our application with the image data stored in the blob column. In the current scenario, that blob column is profile image column. The icon description property is used to provide a textual description of an icon. That is of ename and job columns, respectively. Select the department number column to be used as a badge in the card, 
instead of a plain text. Select the MIME type and last updated columns respectively, which stores the blob content we want to display. This information allows us to display the file name, download the file with the correct format, and identify if the file has been updated since the last download. When creating a card's region in Oracle Apex, you need to specify the primary key column in the primary key column 1 attribute. This attribute specifies which database column uniquely identifies each card in the dataset. The primary key in Apex can execute actions specified to each card, such as editing, deleting, or navigating to detailed pages. Next, create the following actions. Actions are essentially event handlers that trigger specific behaviors when users interact with different parts of a card. These interactions include clicking on the card itself, its title, subtitle, media element, or buttons. Set the type of the action to title. Select the same page on which you are working right now. This way when we click any employee name in the title column, the page gets refreshed and we remain on the same page. An authorization scheme is a set of rules that define whether a user has the necessary permissions to view or interact with a specific card or card element. Create the second action. The edit buttons action adds an edit button to the card. Clicking on it opens the targeted page. Enter the label text to be displayed on the button. Select the employee detail page number from the select list. Under the set item we select the page item and its value to send to the targeted page. Here we specify which page items on the target page should receive values and what those values should be. It allows us to pass information from one page to another page seamlessly by setting values for specific items on the target page. Display type when set to text with icon. Displace an icon next to the button label. Enter any classes for the icon you want to add to the button. Turning on the switch of the hot property, the button background color changes to a more contrasting color, used for the further emphasizing of the button appearance. Select the condition type to PL SQL expression. You can find this expression code in the video description. This code is to return successfully when the employee is a developer or is in department number 10. The first true display condition gets rendered. Save your work. Let's check our first segment. As you can see that the employees with the department number 10 have an edit button on their card. Clicking on the edit button opens the employee detail page. In the title column, if the user click any employee name, the page will get refreshed and the user will remain on the same page. Additionally, create another action to understand the complete concept of conditional actions. Set its type to subtitle. This way the subtitle column becomes clickable and linkable also.
Select the same employee detail page for testing purpose. When the user clicks on an employee record, a request is sent to the EMP number to the target page, which helps in showing their information automatically on the detail pages. This saves time by prefilling fields on the target page. Include this condition that returns successfully when the employee is in department number 30. The subtitle column which is the job column is now editable, but only for the department number 30 employees. Clicking on the subtitle opens the employee detail page containing the complete information of the selected employee. Let's shift gears and tackle with what the next part holds. Duplicate the first region to save your time plus efforts. The previous actions are not required here, so delete them all. Create a new action. Set its type to full card action. Triggers when the entire card is clicked. This is used for the navigation, opening model dialogues, or execution of custom JavaScript or PL SQL code. Linking the employee detail page, send the EMP number column as a set item so the detail page automatically displays the employee information. This is particularly useful for passing and prefilling the values in page items on the target page when navigating from one page to another. The condition says that when the employee is in department number 30, then return successfully. Save and run the page to test the second module. Scroll down to the second region. You will observe a hovering effect on the cards having department number 30. Clicking on the full card anywhere opens the employee detail page containing the complete information of the selected employee. That's all for now. But stay curious, we've got even more exciting content coming soon. Thank you for watching.